Hey, how's it going? It's Master All here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install the A World of Ice and Fire mod for Mountain Blade Warband. Okay. You want to start off on ModDB. I'm going to link it down below. That's where you download the mod. You want to find A World of Ice and Fire on that. Then what you want to do is you want to click Files, find the, the most recent full version. In this case, it's version 7.11, so it would be this one. A lot of people make the mistake and download a patch when they want the full version. Patches are for people that have a previous version and now they want to update to the new version. How you know you downloaded the right file is it's, you know, it's probably around a gig or more depending on the mod is what you download. Once you download the mod, you're going to click this. It's going to open up that. You want to click the download button. I've already downloaded it. I've got many versions. so I'm going to exit out of that. And then it's going to go into probably your download folder unless somebody has changed that or if you change that. Now you're done with that. So we're going to exit out of that. And now what we want to do is we want to go to the download. Uh, in my case, it's downloads. So it'd be right here. Now what you're going to need is a program like WinRAR. I'll link it down below or 7-Zip or some other ones. I use WinRAR. It's free, but you can pay for it if you want. <laughs> All right. So this is the part version we are going to be downloading uh, is this one. As you can see, I downloaded the patch just to show you the size difference. This one's only... 8,000 kilobytes. This one, of course, is like one and a half gigs, give or take. What I like to do is I go ahead, right click the uh, compressed file, and then I want to just, I can go ahead and extract it here. Sometimes I extract it directly into the folder if I know what it is. But what I like to do is extract it here so I can get eyes on it because some mod creators will have the mod within a folder. If the mod is within another folder, a redundant folder, then it's it's going to look like the mod. You're going to put it into your module folder and then it won't run. And that confuses people. So I just like to go ahead and do it here so I can get my eyes on it, see what they did, make sure it's named the way I want it. This is also the time that you can name it. Like if you have uh, multiple versions of the same mod, like different patches or whatever, but you don't want to lose your old patch, you don't have to put the new mod on top of the old version, right? You can just have multiple versions. Like I've got like five versions of World of Ice and Fire for different reasons and many other mods. So we're going to go ahead and extract that. As you can see, it's working pretty fast. I'm using WinRAR, but again, you can use like 7-Zip or whatever, just any uncompression uh, software. Once that's done, this is the mod folder right here, uh, you know, in all its glory. So we're going to move this window off to the side a little bit. Now, I have my module folder, uh, probably not where you're going to have yours. I have mine on a second hard drive. What you're looking for is wherever you place your Steam games. You want to go into that, and then you want to go to Steam Apps, Common, Mountain Blade Warband, Module. If you're going to play a lot of mods, I would go ahead and put the Module folder. I'd put a shortcut on your desktop or wherever you keep that kind of stuff. That way you can easily access it. So you can see all the mods I currently have installed on this hard drive for Mountain Blade Warband. You know, 1257. Here's my World of Ice and Fires. Uh, that's 8.0. It's not out yet, but I've been testing it. You guys are going to love it. All right, so we have all of that, correct? All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this folder since I already have one called World of Ice and Fire. That is the current patch, 7.11. Now, let's say it was a different version. I would call, we're going to call this one, we're going to rename it to World of Ice and Fire uh, U2 Tutorial, basically, is what we're going to call that. There we go, boom. And then you don't have to do any of that, of course, unless you want to. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click it, drag it, Put it over here. Make sure you, you're not putting it inside of another folder. And then I'm going to place it right in. Now, if you have it on the same hard drive as uh, what I'm doing here, then it'll just go directly into it. But since mine's on a second hard drive, it's basically copying this onto that. And then if you're like me, then I just delete this. So it's not a redundant folder here. All right, so we're done with that. And now it's currently copying it over. And then once that is done, it's ready to go. It's as easy as that. Uh, we're going to let it go ahead and do its thing. So then go ahead and launch your Mountain Blade Warband. My Steam is currently closed. Uh, but we'll just, uh, you know how to open up your Warband. But that's it, man. That's the tutorial. It's super simple and easy. Uh, I do want to show you the one more thing, though. Let me see. Where was that at? It was here. Uh, how I check the folders that I download to make sure they're not just a patch is one, the size, and then to make sure it doesn't have a redundant, it's not the mod inside of a redundant folder, double click on it. Uh, you want your mod to look like this on the inside. All of these files, give or take, depending on the mod you're talking about. That's pretty much it, guys, man. Enjoy Mount Blade Warband. Have fun. And 8.0 for World of Ice and Fire is coming out soon. See you next time.